We are going into the deep, dark cave of comics today. Comics so explicit and taboo, bears need to hibernate in the summer in order to sleep through the fear. As you can tell, my hands and nipples are shaking. Shaking so fast, I could probably control the speed force. So I ask you goobers, I plead you, prepare yourself. Hold on to your purity, because you're going to feel certain things about yourself in the Nightwing comic series. So the story starts in Bloodhaven, with Nightwing talking to a couple of cops. Letting him know that the supervillain Blockbuster has discovered Nightwing's identity. As a result, numerous people he knows are at risk of being in danger, or even their identity being revealed. But before he could deal with Blockbuster, he has to talk to the flimsy bladdermouth of a reporter who lets information out in the first place, that being Maxine Michaels. But overall, I don't understand how it's that big of a deal when Nightwing's mask covers up like two inches of his face. My damn face masks during the pandemic did a better job of hiding my face, but whatever. Dick talks to Maxine, who's a reporter assigned to work on stories of Nightwing, and eventually she found out he was Dick Grayson, and he lets her know how many lives she just put at risk for revealing his identity. But she says it was a complete accident, when in reality it was intentional because she's working for Blockbuster, who speaking of which, decides to Yatsi his companion to the Shadow Realm and decides to break into the scene to breakdance with Dick. And like most villains, we're gonna get numerous text bubbles of lecturing from this maggot sack. Dick questions why he shouldn't just kill him right now, and Blockbuster says there's no reason not to, but he knows that Dick is too much of a peanut to actually do it. He knows Dick very well. He knows that Nightwing's weakness is harm coming towards the people that he loves, so he promises to aim for their belly buttons first and kill them when he gets the chance. But on top of that, any association people have with Dick, even if it's from a 30 second conversation, even if it's a random goober on the street, Blockbuster is going to go and Sino style on those guys. Essentially, him just being alive will cause people to die. And Nightwing, like a kid studying for a calculus exam for five minutes, had enough of this. The fight is taken outside where he gets beaten to a pulp. But all of a sudden, Dick's ally, Tarantula, comes onto the scene and tells him to move out of the way. She'll deliver the final blow. Blockbuster doesn't think that Dick will allow this, but he's kind of left with no other option. The threats hurt him more than spending money on a Morbius ticket. So reluctantly, he gave a little bit more of a pummeling, put him in position, and Tarantula shot him straight through the cranium. And Dick is in absolute shock. He just aided and killed killing someone. He feels like he has failed as a hero and failed himself. He's having a crazy breakdown and is numb to literally everything, which this tarantula dweeb takes advantage of by straddling him. And Nightwing is physically unable to resist her. And immediately, this buffoon, this haram does the splitter splatter on Nightwing against his will, taking advantage of his mental condition and says that Blockbuster can't hurt them anymore. And yeah, that's about it. Subscribe and I'll see you later.